All right, here's the scoop. Um, my cousin, you know, in a scorpionic way, told me that I better pull up and do a reading. So I'm here to speak to the Scorpios because her energy was dead serious. Um, <laughs> and she asked me to do a reading like, two weeks ago to five weeks ago like it's been a very long span of time that has passed i'm over here looking at jamie fox's birth chart he's a sagittarius which makes sense um for the energy that i observe but let's see if i can pull up his birth chart and make sure he's not a scorpio moon because i've been singing the theme song to the Jamie Foxx show, not the original one, the second version of the show. My favorite girl that rocks my world. Simple things, all I need. Simple things are all I need. That is a bop. Um, his is Venus and Scorpio. That's enough, yeah. Venus and Scorpio at the seventh degree. Moon and Taurus, just in case you were wondering. All right. So maybe those words are important. My favorite girl who rocks my world. Oh, or maybe, you know, it's just about getting in tune with Sagittarius energy. Scorpio, I feel like I've been talking about the Sag that's been on your ass forever and never and ever. Um, could be a Taurus energy, he had a Taurus moon, you know, but maybe it's just that the simple things are all I need. And maybe you're just like, yo, I, I need a simple tarot card reading. Like my cousin was given that energy. Anywho, we're going to hop into the reading. It's not going to be long because I'm not really on the internet. I'm coming here because it's kind of... My cousin was dead serious <laughs> when she told me to do a reading. So I'm just going to listen real quick. I have Scorpio placements, so I could take the reading for myself as well. Do a loud shuffle for you all. So if you want to turn the volume down, that's cool. I'm going to have some fun with this reading. Um, I guess I could take requests. I'm also not going to leave this reading up for a long time. I'm going to give y'all about two days, if that, to view it. And then we'll see what's happening there. Today I'm using the Martin Witch Tarot deck and the Ghost Tarot because clearly for the Scorpios, I might as well look at the um, world's outside of the planet the external worlds that are arguably internal that was tricky for me just now all the directions are fucked i'm telling you that as a capricorn even the concept of going up to heaven heaven's probably right here and we're like focusing on going up to heaven i digress but maybe not maybe your directions your cardinal energy like maybe you've been lost lost all right I'm going to pull two cards for current energy, top of the deck. And because I can see that bottom card, bottom of the deck. Ooh, eight of wands. And the queen of wands, Sag energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. It looks like, um, like eight of wands is like sending love arrows with rapid speed. So either this fire sign energy is doing that towards you or you're doing that towards the fire sign. Eight of Wands is also Mercury and Sagittarius, so big Sagittarius energy on the table. Perhaps it's time for you to take a trip to really express your full glory and let these B words know who it is. You know, to remind people of who you are. Perhaps a trip is in order. Or like a love note synth express with this eight of wands this is known as cupid's arrows flying towards someone and i already have a court card right i have that queen of wands on the table 
she's someone who carries crystals and she doesn't care that she has a black cat and she's someone who is able to bless others by her expression of passion i.e fire i.e light i.e the source of food she's able to receive through just expression her reception comes from her expression all right three cards where we're going that's interesting i had no plan for that card but i called it where we're going nine of cups so you're going towards your ultimate happiness your obstacle that's in the way Ooh, the two of cups and possible solutions three of cups bottom of the deck for guidance for me nine of swords it's interesting it's like perhaps with the nine of cups like your total happiness what makes you feel lit 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 <laughs> lit like big I... songs coming in lit 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 like big Again, writing a love note, right? Like using your big, I'm thinking a big pen to like write a love note. Your obstacle is the two of cups. Like someone who you're equally yoked with is the obstacle. So maybe what you want, right? The way that you uh, create resources, the way that you get paid, you have to express this love maybe. And then the three of cups is the solution. And then like go out in a celebratory fashion say what you want to say is what i'm hearing say what you want to say it's interesting i know for sure my cousin is definitely dealing with a fire sign so say what you want to say and then once you say it you're in the celebratory energy you're also moving towards the nine right should it be this way yeah um, this one i don't know how you guys are gonna see it all right so the obstacle is the two of cups and the solution is the three of cups so you need to be progressively moving forward towards the nine of cups which is you being able to kick up your shoes and relax your feet party on down to the escape be just chill just kick it just chill all right hmm. overall energy is is the expression of passion all right next steps i'm gonna pull two cards for next steps two Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. maybe i'm running from a contract the devil card is capricorn energy knight of swords mercurial energy yeah like maybe you're communicating the need to break a contract or the need to be freed from karma So like rushing away from this union, I'm a Capricorn, I love the devil card. But perhaps, if I'm looking at these cards, these cards have a much, much lighter energy. And perhaps you need your love to be like light. My favorite girl, simple things, right? You don't need the complexity of love or the questions of love so you could be like rushing away from a contract um or you're like maybe like this soulmate is your karma and you're trying to like run away from your karma because the devil card is ruled by saturn so it is the ruler of karma so maybe you're like rushing away from your karma that was next steps all right let's get back into the ghost tarot because it's just beautiful now we're just going to clarify hmm. or total overall outcome. So we looked at the solution. Let's look at that outcome. What's the outcome for the Scorpios? So you have the Knight of Wands. So the expression of passion. That's the overall outcome. One more card to clarify. Middle of the deck. I can see the bottom of the deck too. Ooh, that's the three of swords. Interesting. And the devil card in the other deck. Big Capricorn energy. Big Saturn energy with that three of swords. 
The Three of Swords is all about healing. Like, I want to heal the situation so much that I'll hold an umbrella for the parts of you that have died. So maybe like shielding yourself from continuing to cry, like not getting wet with the emotions, actually doing the healing. With the devil card, this was cyclical. It was a cycle of healing for you. And I, perhaps you're like stepping out of that contract because you've done the healing. I love seeing the three of swords. People are like, oh, it's heartbreak. No, no. Because those swords can be removed from the heart. It's when the healing starts. The two of swords is when you're like, I don't know where I should go. I don't know what I should do. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel. I don't know what I'm smelling. I don't know what I'm hearing. I don't know what I'm dreaming, right? You can't make a choice, but the three of swords is like, all right, this hurt my feelings. I'm acknowledging that. And now it's time to heal. So Scorpio, I think you're healing from a cycle. Checking on the time, 11.15. I think you're healing from a cycle. And that was 11.15 on the clock. Clarifying the Two of Cups. I got the Knight of Pentacles. Remember, this was the obstacle. So perhaps, like, this hasn't manifested. Like, the seed is there. But the lands behind this traveler are barren lands. So the pentacle represents the seed that should be planted. Clarifying the Nine of Cups. Ooh, I wish this was my reading. It is. I got a Scorpio placement. Listen, the Nine of Cups is like, listen, and Aries makes you happy. And Aries makes you happy. It's like something about them, maybe. It's something about their power. It's something about their understanding of eternal life. It's something about these ram horns that just really does it for you clarifying the three of cups the judgment yeah you're gonna like choose to be in an energy of satisfaction which is so dreamy for me like an energy of just like <sighs> that's the judgment libra energy on the table now aries energy capricorn energy twice and these are the major arcanas so a judgment is being made. Like I said, coming out of the Two of Swords energy, these people are raising from their coffins and they're celebrating the fact that the angel was like, doo, 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 doo. it's time for you to celebrate, honey. It's time for you to be satisfied, mommy. <laughs> it's time. Clarifying the current energy, which is the Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius. And the Queen of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Just pulling one card to clarify. Ooh, the Strength card. Leo energy. So it's like you are strong enough to control the wild lion that lives inside of you. You are strong enough to comfort your inner child. Leo loves just because. They love just for love's sake. They love because love exists and it is an expression that is very relevant on the planet. With the Leo energy clarifying this as the major arcana, it is time for you to express yourself in a healthy way. Not just the way the lion does, but the way your inner child would before it was traumatized by the world literally that is your current energy it's time for you to express all right with the overall outcome yes 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 i'm literally yelling yes because the world card aquarius energy is just yes 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 queen yes yes so ultimate change is coming in a positive way. Your world is going to change with this expression. So you need to pull up and then be like, my favorite boy that rocks my world. You know, just tell him. Just tell him. Clarifying the karma. You got the full card. It's a new start. It is a new start. 
these cycles are over. The karma that you had to go through, Scorpio, it's over. And remember I said it was like resetting for heart healing and you should let this Aries in. You should express towards this Leo. You should express towards this Sagittarius or a Libra is making a decision on you. Or an Aquarius is making a decision on you. And maybe there's Aries energies in the charts. Remember, I had to look up Jamie a little bit more. 1533. You know, maybe you need to look at the sun, the moon, the rising. Interesting. You're healing from the five of cups energy. I love this. Where you're like, dang, I can't ever experience love because of what happened in the past. Like, man, I can't ever experience love. It's like a, a sullen feeling. I think that's what I want to say. It's like sulking in the sadness of the past. But there's a new start. Clarifying next steps with one card. The star card. That's amazing. You have Aquarius energy on the table twice. The star card on top of the devil card is everything we could ever want. Anyone who is emotionally and um, co cognitively sound wants their wishes that they've been working on Saturn energy to come through quickly. So this is like your next steps are like either the best manifest manifestation, the best contract, the best real thing, the best like it's your dreams coming true as it pertains to you moving away from old contracts from old cycles from old karmic energies it's your dreams coming true last card because i feel kind like that <laughs> i'm cool like that i'm hearing the females verse i'm cool like that I'm out, out, out. Yeah, it's like you leaving your karmic cycles. Like, you're done. The sun card. Yes. Big Leo energy. So, like, just overall happiness. Maybe a child is coming. And the child, um, I don't really see that in the rest of the reading. But maybe the, a child is coming because Leo rules the energy of children. And we were talking about your inner child and you taming the beast and allowing your inner child or the child of your past to be alive. Like maybe your child is the new karmic cycle. Maybe you're having a child or maybe it's just ultimate joy. Maybe it's just the ultimate expression of love. We have both Leo cards on the table, both Aquarius cards on the table, two Capricorn cards on the table. Dreams are coming true. Joy is on the way. Bye.